playing Lepanto on stream. <laughs> and you're doing 17k to ships like Palmer. <laughs> I'm having too much fun with this. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> 10k! <laughs> Hello, this is Overlord Bo, uh, and I'm here with my friend SAT Score. And today we're going to be talking about the new upcoming tier, uh, the new upcoming Italian battleship line uh, that's coming into early access on February 17th. Today we're going to be focusing on the Veneto, which is the tier 8 uh, of the new tech tree line. It's, it's pretty much the sister ship to the Roma, so you can definitely tell it's very, very similar. Really good ship. Has pretty much the same armor scheme. Pretty much everything is pretty much the same, except the fact this thing has SAP rounds, which is the huge difference for it. So now we're going to go over to SAT score. He's going to talk about the captain and the build. So for this uh, for this ship, we're using the Luigi Santanetti captain. His passive skill is improved gun feeder, which reduces reload switch time by 75%. Highly recommended, especially since uh, Benito can utilize both SAP and AP effectively. So for your first point, you can t you should be taking both the gun feeder and the uh, printed maintenance. For your second point, you can t you can take both Greased Gears and Consumable Specialists, no, Consumable Enhancements. This is especially useful for buffing your smoke as it increases the lay time even more, thus bringing it up to about 70, 57 seconds. Third one is Adrenaline Rush, standard take for all battleships. And afterwards, you finish it off with four, uh, three four-point skills. Deadeye plus Concealment Expert are standard for most battleships. Fire prevention is also recommended, just so you take a lot less fire damage. All right, so for, and since Luigi is a special captain, he does get special perks. So he does get the concealed reserves where activated once per battle, where hitting enemy ships 100 times with the main shells increases the action time of all consumables by 10%. So if you hit 10 main, 100 main shell hits, you get a plus 10% active uh, to all consumables, which means it increases the heals, increases the spotter plane duration, and increases the amount of heal you get. So it goes from, the heal will go from, let's see real quick. It goes from 28 seconds plus 10%. It goes to around 30.8 seconds. So you get that little little extra heal. So it's really nice. So for the next one is if you get a kill when you destroy an enemy ship, your main battery firing uh, range increases. So uh, you, you get, if you get one kill, your main fi uh, battery firing range increased by 8%. It's really nice. So if you get like a nice early kill, you have a permanent increase by 8%. It's a very good skill to use and for confederate. So if you get a Confederate in the match, you get 15% less reload. So the reload on these guns will go from 33 seconds down to 15%. So that would be around 28, 29 seconds, which is a really big deal from 33 to 28. It's really nice. And you combine that with the Adrenaline Rush. It's a really good combo. So we're going to go over the equipment build. So to start off, the main armament, of course, you always go for that one. The damage con system, you go for this one for the slot two. Slot three, you would go for aiming systems modification one. And for the fourth slot, you go for propulsion modification. And for the fifth slot, you do concealment systems. So make sure that you do spotter plane. Uh, as of right now, fighters aren't really useful. So you want to get that extra range. So with this build, you have an 18.1 kilometer range. Uh, you have the the secondaries which are at the 6.9 the air defenses are at the 277 for the continuous maneuverability is 30 knots the rudder shift is 15.5 and the turn radius is 810 and with this the concealment is 12.8 to C, 9.4 to air um so some people may think that the equipment slot would be perfect would be getting the armory i'll show it real quick We'll be getting the armory uh, smoke upgrade, which is right in here. 
they made it where you cannot get this smoke upgrade uh, for the Italian BB. So, say, hey, I can get a longer smoke. Uh, nope, they made it where you can't. So, the best bet besides doing that is clicking the mount recommended signals. And when you do this, it shows the most recommended for this particular line. So, these ones, you don't, if you don't want these, you don't have to. But the most important one to me is this one right here, the X-Ray Papa Inorie which makes it where your action time of the smoke generator is plus 15%. So if you go back in here, look, and it increases your smoke to 56.92 seconds, which is a very long time that you're under concealment of the smoke. And this is an exhaust smoke, which means that as fast as you're going, the smoke will follow you no matter what, which means that you'll never pop out of your smoke, which is really, really, really important for, these, for this particular line because that's their specialty. So that's the build and the flags and the captain skills you should be using for this ship. Now we're going to go to the replay and see you guys there. And we're back. So as you can see the lineup here, we have one tier 60, which isn't that much of a threat. We have a few tier 8 battleships, which are okay. Then we have a, tier, a few tier 6. Uh, some not too risky there. Cruisers. One DD luckily, so we have to deal with that. So, after you saw the lineup, uh, I'm gonna let SAT score take over for a little bit, because he knows this stuff a lot more than me, so why don't you get started, brother? Alright, so what? So the match we're showcasing is the tier 8 of Benito, uh, Benito, ben, Vittorio Benito, sorry. So, those who are familiar with the Roma uh, will find the Benito very similar. Many of the characteristics, like HP, HP is similar, uh, Handling, uh, concealment, gun range, all of these are very similar to the Roma. Uh, but Benito is a tech line uh, Italian battleship, so we'll go into the general strengths, weaknesses, and gimmicks of the line overall. The main, uh, the main thing people will immediately notice is that Benito carries SAP and AP. If you're familiar with the Italian cruisers, SAP behaves very similarly to the Italian cruiser SAP, except you're firing a much bigger shell. So uh, your auto, so you can expect about uh, typical auto bounce angles of around 70 to 80 degrees, and in practice, this means you will be able to penetrate at near uh, near bow on ships or near stern on ships. At the cost, uh, you'll be able to do more damage, but at the cost of not doing any fires. The AP is still considered quite potent, so don't neglect to use the AP when the situation calls for it. Another big feature of the Italian battleships is also the smoke, and this, current, and this is currently unique to the Italian battleships only. The smoke in particular is also the exhaust smoke or uh, the moving smoke, as some people may call it. What happens is when you when you use the smoke, you immediately go into concealment and the smoke will follow you around. It's not, uh, it's a very good tool for escaping, similar to the how the Italian cruisers work. Yes, but, but so far with the smoke, they have it where it's only the tier 8 through 10 that will get the smoke, while the tier 4 through 6 do not get access to the smoke. So, so for the build that we just showed, it's only for the tier 8 and above, since the tier 1, tier 4 through 7 do not get the same perk, sadly. They don't get the smoke, sadly. Mm -hmm. starting, at, yep, starting at tier 8, you will get, you can get uh, exhaust smoke. Yes, exactly. Although Venito has powerful SAP and AP rounds, one of the issues with it, uh, with them, is both the ac accuracy and the reload time. So, as Bo mentioned earlier, Venito has a 33 second reload, which is considerably slower than most of her interior counterparts. In addition, the accuracy is also not as high. Uh, Benito has a 1.7-ish Sigma versus the standard battleship 1.8. And you will note, so oftentimes you will notice your cells going a little bit uh, off target than usual. Yeah, from my time playing the Benito and the tier 9 counterpart, the Pente? 
Let me say it. I say it wrong. Lepento. Yeah, Lepento. Yeah, Lepento. Um, when I didn't have Dead Eye active and the ships were between like 13 through about 18 kilometers, the shell's dispersion was always everywhere. Like, the Italian BBs have uh, usually their counterparts, like some of the worst sigmas compared to say the Germans and their accuracy. They're it's not they're not known for their accuracy. So you have to build into the dead eye and make sure you build into concealment to make sure you're getting the most effectiveness out of this out of the out of your rounds. Because the SAP is very potent. And with with the tier eight the Venito having a 92 millimeter SAP pen, that means that you're able to pen pretty much every single you can pen every battleship at that tier, and even tier nine, there is no battleship that it cannot pen that you cannot pen its bow. So if the battleship is pointing right at you, you're able to use SAP right through the bow and do a nice chunk of damage. Usually, uh, as you see later on the match, you're going to see a really, a really nice chunk that I took out later. But that'll be a surprise for how much. So the SAP rounds are very effective against cruisers. AP can sometimes overpen, but SAP almost never has that issue. So this Yorick, if the shells hit, Yorick does take a fair amount of damage. Yeah, but as you can see, the dispersion of my aim is like, nope. Mm -hmm. Also, something to note, a lot of people that play these were worried about the fact that SAP is coming out of battleships. Not to worry, SAP rounds have a 10% uh, max damage of the SAP on the DDs, which means that a, as for the Venito, it can only do 1,250 damage with the SAP to the DDs, since the SAP rounds do a total of 12,500 if they're able to Citadel, so it only does 10% of that no matter what, so the SAP always do, does that 1,250, or 10% of whatever the max damage is so let's say the max damage of the sap round is 13,000. it will only do 1300 to it to a dd if it hits a quick way to think about it is that it, de it deals over pen damage only to destroyers yeah pretty that, that's the best way to explain it a lot of uh as you can see in chat a lot of people uh have this uh have this misunderstanding but Wargaming intentionally capped it at 10% as a balancing, uh, for balancing purposes. Because if you just imagine pretty much having a Venenzia SAP on an even bigger caliber, it would not, uh, they wouldn't last very long in front of them. <laughs> no, they can fully wipe DDs pretty easily. Yeah, I'm not sure what this hipper was doing here. He, uh, uh, yeah, I don't know he what was, he was doing. He was overly aggressive. Yup. All alone over here. Okay. Yeah. So, although it's not showcased this match, uh, the Italian battleships have an interesting AA suite. They're continu they have a respectable continuous damage, uh, at least on the higher tier ships, but their AE range is relatively low. It's... In uh, Benito, Benito's case, it roughly caps out about 4.6. Yep, 4. yep, 4. it's 4.6. Yep. It's 4.6, yep. Yeah, it's some of the, the lowest anti air for the battleships. As far as I know, that is the lowest uh, battleship range in the game for tier 8 and above, 4.6 really low like super super low i feel like they're going to change that sooner or later but that's just me it's unlikely considering how venezi has very similar aa rate that's true you're, you're correct and venezia does have similar so they'll probably keep the, the nation characteristics yep you're correct i forgot about that so here we have uh the italian smoke being showcased so since even though he's five kilometers away from Alabama, they have no shot on him. And so, look at that. And this person. Yep. yep. So as long as he holds his fire, he will stay unspotted in smoke. Of course, the issue is, uh, even though you have smoke generator, it, you're still subject to smoke firing penalties. And being a battleship and all, you're 
Concealment goes out the window whenever you fire the shots. It's a good, uh, it can be a good escape tool, similar to the Italian cruisers, but you need to be smart on how you use it. Ooh, and there's that 16k salvo I was talking about. <laughs> oh, man. 16k salvo to the bow, bro. Oh, that's so juicy. Yeah. Alabama is very angled, so other battleships will have to use HE, uh, HE here in order to damage it. But Benito, of course, has SAP. So just go ahead and fire at the superstructure missile or the bow. As long as you don't hit the belt, you should be able to do considerable damage. Yeah, this is a brawl with three battleships. It's sitting bow wind. So I didn't expect to last very long here. But surprisingly, the Veneto can hold its own bow wind quite well. With the fact that its bow is 32 millimeters and it has a little extra uh, skirt of armor on the bow. A lot of people try aiming for that to do a uh, try to do a uh, citadel, which they won't be able to pen. And then the the bow nozzles up a little bit, which helps protect the guns. And that's number two battleship down. And, and so far, this match is doing pretty good, doing 74k. That's not like too much damage, but with what I've had to deal with, it's doing pretty good. I'm at 1.6k. Sorry, 1.6 mil already tanked, which is really nice. But one of the drawbacks with this ship is the DCP time and the heal time, as you can see what's going to be coming up. Um, like most battleships, they do suffer from uh, HE spam, so if you're not careful, you will die to fire, which sadly is going to happen later on. But as you can see, I did a consistent 12k salvo to the Amagi's bow. The ship is doing amazing work at staying alive for as long as it can. It just took a full salvo, only doing 5, 6k. That's really, really good. Um, I feel like this ship is, is its a really good, I really enjoyed this ship for, for it just being able to get in play. Um, what do you think so far? Uh, well, I'll have to wait to see until it's uh, officially in early access. But so far, it has, a, it has several interesting gimmicks to, uh, to play around with that we haven't seen with other battleships. SAP, we've seen it on cruisers, we just haven't seen it on battleships just yet. As for the exhaust generator smoke, it's so it's relatively unique for a battleship. If people uh, use it the same way as the Italian cruisers, then you'll get some good use out of it. But I think a lot of people will be unaccustomed to the smoke firing range, and so may inadvertently reveal themselves. Yep, exactly. So with 27 seconds left, it looks like the York is the York gonna get hit by the torp. Uh, yep, and that's it. The game is over. Well, thank you so much, SAT Score, for going over the uh, Italian ships with me today, brother. I really appreciate it. If you guys have any questions or concerns, make sure to leave them down in the comments and below. Um, is, do you have any last statements there, SAT? Uh, nope, I'm looking, I'm looking forward to see how the Italian battleships do upon uh, early access. Yeah, I'm really excited to play the Tier 10. Like, I'm hoping that it brings a new meta to the Tier 10 battleships, and you can really meme with those SAPs. But yeah, again, if you guys have any questions or concerns, definitely let us know down in the comments. We'll be happy to answer any of your questions. Uh, we'll talk to you all later, and see you guys tomorrow.